Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's the one and only St. Mike, Plumber Mike. Anyway, I had a gorgeous house here. And the uh, complaint is, out of all the zones they have, we'll go to the, I'll show you the boiler next. No heat on this floor. They got radiant heat here. So checking out the thermostat, we see it is flashing change filter. And we are in heat. And look at it, it's retarded. All right, something wrong with this. Even if I go to off, it still says that. And I already tried resetting it already, and it's still not working. So this video is going to be how to replace a thermostat utilizing one transformer and two wires. Now, when you have a two-wire thermostat like that, that is heat only, one wire is going to be on RH, and the other wire is going to be on W. All right? RH, this is power. It could also be just R, right? If it's uh, not a, uh, a uh, heating only thermostat. And W, which is the white wire, right? When the switch is closed, when the heat is activated, the thermostat takes 24, you know, the signal from here and brings it there. It basically closes the contact. And on this particular system, there's no voltage here, right? It's just dry contacts going to TT on the boiler relay. So we're going to take this off and I'll show you how to do it. Kelvin, hold this. Kelvin is good at a couple things. One of the things is besides doing combustion analysis, I think he's good at holding the phone. And he knows it too. So we take out the two screws. You notice I disconnected the, the wiring first. And when we take this off, we want to make sure we don't lose the wire. Make sure it doesn't get pulled into the wall. If it gets pulled into the wall, you're fucked. <laughs> so here's the new base plate. As you can see, we have multiple terminals here. RC, RH, OB, this could be used for a heat pump system. Y, which is cooling. G is fan. W is heat. And C is common. So we'll stick this thermostat base plate back on there. And we kind of luck out. It fits right there, right? But will the wider... Um, I don't know, Kelvin. That's going to be pretty tight. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because if I put this there... Oh, they can still open the door, actually. Let's just give it a try. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a gambling man today. And if this works, maybe I'll go to... Maybe I'll bet on the election. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Today is... Tuesday, November 3rd, right? Yes. It is election day in the United States of America. And in this election, the people of this country are voting for a new, a replacement president, possibly. Are you watching this, not me? Yes. Okay. Well, and it's got a little built-in level there. See that, guys? Make sure that's nice and level. Right about there. They said those levels aren't really like. They don't right. really work out that well, but yeah. I'm just want to see if this is going to work out well. Let's see. Now I got to lower it. Yeah. All right, so we'll lower this. Shucks. Okay, let me get the screw going with the fillet bit on it. All right. Down just a tad. 
Oh, I already see the feedback already. Why didn't you put anchors on the wall? Well, one thing at a time there, buddy. <laughs> what are two plastic anchors? It's dead level. Have a little screwdriver. So now, one wire is going to go into RH, like that. Make sure it's nice and snug in there. We'll fish the rest of that back in there. We don't need it out. Sorry, I got interrupted by a phone call. And the white wire is also secure. Batteries, Kelvin. Set that to 68, hold that. Let's set the time. What time is it, Kelvin? One o'clock. Look at that, it is Tuesday. There you have it. Take a, a look at the boiler. Like I said, it's a big house. Second floor, first floor, base supply. Let's look for the radiant manifold, mixing, sorry, mixing valve, which is there, and sunroom, it's gotta be that. And the zone valve is open. This one is master bath, that one's closed. But I do not hear the circulator running. See, I do not hear the circulator running, so maybe there's something wrong with that end switch. Right? So if you look at the if you look at the zone valve itself, see these two red wires? That goes to the end switch. Right? And it's orange and yellow, which then turn into two yellow wires at 24 volts. So I don't hear the circulator running, so let's test this theory of a defective end switch. Once again, doing this one-handed, like I normally do things because, you know, I got Kelvin. You hold the phone? No, I got it, Kelvin. Oh, it's up there, radiant relay. We got a defective end switch on that zone relay. Look at that. So the test, hold the phone. We have, there's both zone valves, the end switches for both zone valves are tied in together. So if one goes on, 
right, the relay will power the circulator and then send signal to the boiler, all right? Now I do know that this zone valve is not calling right now because there's, there's resistance here. See that? There's resistance in this one. See, there's no resistance. So if I force this open, the lever with, with the spring will eventually hit that end switch. And it'll only be for a brief second, but we'll just hear it to confirm that that end switch is bad. See? Do you get that, Kelvin? Yeah. We'll do that again. See? So the end switch on this zone relay, zone valve is bad. So we're going to switch swap, swap that out. All right. Kelvin's got the new Honeywell four wires, uh, Honeywell four wire zone valve. And one of the first things I'm going to tell you is that on the newer ones, it's been around for maybe 15, 20 years. I can swap this zone valve head out without having to drain down the boiler and solder on the new body, right? As long as you see that little nipple right there and the one on the opposite side, which is right there, see, dead center of the screen. I got a screw there and a screw there and I can swap this out and just give them a new head. So I'm gonna get a flat screwdriver. Okay, I asked for a flat, he gives me a Phillip. Again, one-handed Saint Mike. You know, I don't know how I do it, but I'm just an effing saint. Isn't that right, Kelvin? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. And man, I got patience of a saint. Get out of there, buddy. Did you fart again? No. What the fuck is that stench? I don't know. What are you talking about? Oh my god! You don't have no reflexes in your butthole. Did you just fart. I, I smell it. Uh, yeah, I swear to God. Oh my god, Kelvin! Oh, yeah. This guy is. Yo, I did not fart. Oh my god! You know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna take Steve. Steven. You're gonna ride around with Mike. Come on, get out of there, buddy. Almost. Why am I doing this with one hand? Calvin, hold the phone. I'm doing this with one hand because I can't trust Kelvin to hold the phone. Okay, so there that is. Let's go to the new zone valve. And just so you know, there's going to be some guys out there who are going to comment on this video, and they're probably one of the 85% of the people who, are, who view this channel and don't subscribe, but there's going to be some people who's like, oh, you can just replace the end switch. Yes, you can. You can just replace the end switch, but I'm going to have to still take the body off, and you might as well give them a new motor at the same time, mm. right? right? All new mechanisms, because that is as old, right, as the whole system. And if you look at the date of the install, right, the boiler, we would see that this boiler is from 2012, right? So this system was probably installed in 2012, maybe 2013. So you have seven, possibly seven or, or eight year old system that all these components are the same age, all right? So for all those naysayers out there, channel trolls are gonna comment, well, oh, you could just replace the end switch. I say hogwash. Okay, now that's in. And another reason why I don't like zone valves is look at the wiring. It looks like a mess, All right? Just not organized. There goes the end switch. I mean the the uh, lever. 
Now. Here's our old one, right? Let's get the needle. We don't have the needle nose down here, do we? Yes, we do. Oh, look. Handy dandy garbage can. going here to this bunch right there. Cubs got a knife for me. You notice that I cut those separately. This power there. That's one. Now the motor is open. The motor is powered. So I'm going to hook up the end switch, which are the next two red wires. Here's one. And here's the other. All right. One is going here. Nope. Where'd it go? All the end switches go together. So I have an end switch off of this one. So there. And that will go. Was wired. Let's go. Probably right in front of my face too. Just don't see him. Oh, there's one here on the floor. And now the other.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only St. Mike for tolerating Kelvin SSB, which stands for Small School Bus. Two for special today. How to replace a two-wire thermostat. How to replace a Honeywell four-wire zone valve with a defective end switch. If you're one of the 85% of the people who are subscribed to my channel and haven't subscribed already, the best way you can support this channel and allow me to create more videos like this is to hit that subscribe button. If you want to get post notifications, hit that alarm bell and make sure you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't really give an F either way. Comment something, criticism, I don't really care. I'm a saint. I tolerate him. Call me Plumber Mike. Pipe Doctor signing off.